hi guys so I'm not too sure if I'm actually in focus or not I'm still getting used to my new camera and I'm not used to filming on a flashy camera basically and uh, so excuse my face if I'm not properly in focus and also I'm using my 50mm lens so I don't actually know how this is going to look but that will be interesting <laughs> so I've had a few requests via my blog about my hair care routine um, I've had a few about how I do like style my hair as well, but um, I'd rather leave that for a separate video if you guys don't mind. And if you'd like to see that, just let me know. I'm sorry about the jangling. So I'll just start off by saying that I bleach my hair, and as you can see, my roots are really in need of doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bleach my hair myself, and I also tone it, and that means that it's relatively dry. Um, I don't actually get my hair cut very often and I have actually had it cut, you guys might know if you follow my blog that my hair is normally like down to my knit naps and um, well below my knit naps and <laughs> it's looking a bit shorter today that's because I cut it yesterday with the help of my boyfriend and um, I don't like spending money on getting my hair cut, um, sorry hairdressers but you've done me wrong in the past and I don't trust many of you. And, um, so this hair care routine is basically to try and keep my hair in as good a condition as possible and this is how I do it. So I wash my hair every three days probably, or if I'm going somewhere then maybe a bit more regularly. But um, when you've got your hair bleached you don't really need to wash it that often. So first off I'll tell you guys what I use to wash my hair. So normally I use Tresemme, which personally I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, you can normally get them at two for one sort of pricing. I use normally the Colour Fade Protection and um, it's just really moisturising and I've used it for years ever since I bleached my hair um, and it just adds extra moisture that your bleached hair needs and keeps it from going all brittle and horrible. I've also dabbled in using this one um, just because when that one's been out of stock I've gone for the Salon Salon. I don't, mm, yeah that's right, <laughs> Salon Silk version, which is quite good, it's not quite as moisturising, so you do need to leave a conditioner on a bit more, I find, but it's still a super product and I'd really recommend Tresemme for everything really. Anyone out there that also bleaches their hair might know how vital purple shampoo is. This is the Provoke, I think that's what it's called, um, a touch of silver, £2.50 as you can see. And um, you're meant to use this twice a week, this version, but I actually use it every time I wash my hair pretty much. Just mix it in with a bit of my Tresemme and um, shampoo, that is, and just leave it on for a couple of minutes and it just stops your hair from going all brassy and horrible. Um, I quite like my hair to stay more neutral looking and not reddish toned or orange toned, so that's a brilliant product to keep your hair looking sort of paler blonde without the warm tones in it. Okay, now moving on to my absolute key product for my hair. It's this. I was actually sent this um, to try, but I've since invested in more of them, and it's the John Frieda Full Repair Perfect Ends Deep Infusion. Quite a long name. <laughs> and um, it's just such an amazing product. I don't know if any of you have this problem as well, but I really struggle to brush through my hair, like, whenever I wash it and this sort of allows the brush to kind of go through it probably has silicon and all sorts of shit in it that you're not meant to put on your hair but um for me it's a great product it allows your hair brush to like silky flip through your hair so I definitely recommend giving the John Frieda product a go I'm sure pretty much all of you use straighteners or some sort of heat on your hair so you'll know that it's really important to use hair protection spray. I'm a bit guilty on this one. I sort of forget sometimes to use it. And I'm not too sure if the John Frieda product has some hair protection in it, but I hope it does, because I do forget quite regularly to use it. When I do remember to use it, this is the one that I use. It's another Tresemme product. This is their heat defense spray, and it has a UV filter in it as well. And it protects up to 230 degrees centigrade which is the heat that my um, straighteners got up to, so that's perfect. I think it's important to check that. I mean, this did used to only go up to 180, I do believe, because I've used it for years, um, but it seems like they've improved it. Um, the UV filter is actually really handy for people with bleached hair 
or coloured hair as you might notice in the summer the sun makes your hair lighter so if you dry your hair brown for example it might go a bit lighter in the sun um, which I used to have problems with so using that in the summer is quite good to sort of stop that happening and I just really like the product it's not that cheap I think it's probably about six pounds when I last bought it um, which is quite expensive for that kind of thing um, but you can't really get anything a lot cheaper to find um, and it's always worked for me so I just stick with it that's the kind of person I am okay and finally without going into too much detail about how I style my hair because as I say that can be done in another video um, this is my hairspray of choice it's the Thai Jai correct me if I'm wrong um, catwalk um, session series work it hairspray and this is amazing it doesn't make your hair go crispy and oh my god it smells like freaking heaven it's like cocoa buttery sort of smell almost like perfumey like I'm saying like loads and it stays in for ages I've got it on now and as you can see my hair doesn't look crispy or anything um, I'd really recommend it it is quite pricey I got it for Christmas it does say 9.99 on it um, but I probably would buy this again simply because I've had it since Christmas and it's half, nearly half empty now um, and it's therefore lasted me nearly three months which I think is pretty good going for hairspray considering I use it most days and I like it so that's kind of how I keep my bleached hair in decent condition um, without getting it cut too often uh, with budget products, well what I have to say are mostly budget products and I really recommend all of those to any of you that have dry hair. So that's about it for today, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know if you like any of these products or if you'll recommend anything else to me because I know people with bleached hair do have problems with sort of brittle ends and stuff and that's why I had to chop mine off. So give me a little twinkly tinkle thing down below that sounds dodgy that'll do for now um <laughs> i'll see you guys again soon and have a nice day and bye